I'm high and I have a PhD in time mismanagement and in order to get that PhD in time mismanagement I had to take a you know a course about uh, misprioritizing things and so right now I have class in the morning but I'm high and it's two in the morning and I discovered that Twilight is on Canadian Netflix so I thought you know what it's late o'clock or early o'clock depending on if you're that kid at the party who is like oh well technically it's tomorrow already because it's midnight in two seconds and um <laughs> I decided to watch Twilight <laughs> So, first impressions. Why is it so blue? <laughs> it's like the little bits of red that are in it are like really fucking obvious and it's like Porsche is red, her truck is red, and the Twizzlers are red. The Twizzlers are red. <laughs> I should go to Metro and buy Twizzlers. That'd be a great idea. Uh, she steps in front of the fucking... <laughs> The fan. I was like, damn girl, did she like let it rip or something? And I completely forgot for a second that it's because he has super smell. Because like they don't breathe, right? So why would they need to smell? Like they make a whole point in the book that when they're teaching her how to vampire, that she has to like emulate breathing. <laughs> like they have to. Like, why would they, if they have, how would they, why are they smelling? Like, smelling should not be a feature, right? Because you need to breathe to smell. Edward is so creepy in, like, the way that he looks. Like, I have a lot of respect for Robert Pattinson, honestly. Like, now knowing kind of some of the behind-the-scenes stuff, how he, like, there's, there's, like his collar, yeah. there's some of his collars that are held up with wire to have like a certain disheveled look apparently. The shirt I'm wearing, I remember it had a wire, a, a piece of wire inside the collar Victoria? so it can look like rumpled however you want it. <laughs> the most like intense form of pretentious dishevelment I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Contacts? No. She's like, did you get contacts? Your yeah. eyes, Black, well, they're like so golden. Good. And you know what this bitch, bitch's answer is? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, the, uh... it's the fluorescence. Oh my god. Old Google. It's old Google. I can't even. You say you heard what they were okay, so he's like, that, she's like, Wait, you can read minds? What, you, that means that you you can you, you read, read minds. minds and he's like dead ass just admits it. I can read minds. Yeah, I read minds, minds, bro. I can read and everyone's strong. but yours and I'm like apart from yours. I can't believe it. He won't be like, Oh yeah, yeah, I'm a vampire, mm -hmm. but he'll dead ass just be like, Yep, Six. I read minds. <laughs> this is so stupid. Cat. <laughs>
I know what you are. See it. Out loud. Anemic. They sparkle. I wish I sparkled like that. Fucking cool. What a sparkle. I'm designed to kill. You know the um I'm fifty shades. I don't fuck that line from fifty shades of gray. Because I'm fifty shades of fucked up. That's that version right there. Fifty shades of fucked up. I have a lot of respect for Robert Pattinson. He's talking about his backstory now. And I know that he said that he played the character. He did not like Edward, and he played the character as though Edward is a 108 year old virgin. It's kind of a mixture of looking like slightly constipated and stoned. If you watch the movie knowing that he hates this character, knowing that he is purposefully pretending to be a hundred year old virgin it makes so much sense plus jake appears he keeps bugging me about seeing you again great dad thanks just keeping it real son just keeping, just keeping it, it real, real son, son. <laughs> they're in his room now and he, he really does act like a guy who just really he acts like he really wants to smash bella like this this whole franchise is just this 100 year old, 8 year old virgin that really wants to fuck. <laughs> That's the whole premise of Twilight, is that these two really want to fuck, but he's too strong. His dick game is too strong. What? I can't dance. <laughs> I could always make you. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. You better hold on tight, spider monkey. 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 I just remember playing vampire baseball. The Twilight soundtrack was like so ahead of its time. Like it's such a good soundtrack. I still listen to it every once in a while. Like, it, the, it, there's something that you can love unironically about Twilight. You know, there's a whole Twilight renaissance, but if there's something that you can truly love unironically about Twilight, it's their soundtrack, because it's so good. <laughs> she just had a piece of glass in her leg and she just fucking yanked it out like it was nothing. Like, bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> They are doing the novel texting. Edward, why did you save me? You just let the venom spread. I could be like you right now. You don't know what you're saying. You don't want this. I want you. Always. I'm not gonna end your life, Eve. I'm dying. Already. Every second I get closer. Older. It's the way it's supposed to be. So Edward might be a hundred and eight year old, seventeen year old virgin, but like he's pretty mature about this whole thing. Not gonna lie, he's she's like I want to be, I want to be immortal, all because of a high school crush, which is probably like her first boyfriend, and like you don't want to be immortal, dude. Being immortal sucks. Like, it's awful. There is no benefit to being immortal. Okay. The movie has ended. I'm not high anymore. It's 4.30. Um. So. Twilight. That was really fun to watch high. I really wish that I bought Twizzlers. But. You know what, I'll, I'll buy Twizzlers for the next viewing because I think I want to rewatch the whole series because I still, I don't know, I'm not rereading the books. I'm not that dedicated. But you know what, maybe I should watch movies high, like old movies. Anyway, so in conclusion, Twilight, the Twilight Renaissance has something going for it. I honestly did, I did like that. I don't know if that was just because um, my Twilight phase was a hater twilight phase you know you know there's like 
the ones that really like Twilight, and then you have the people that really hated Twilight. I really like the books, I read all the books, but at the same time I also hated them because I didn't really like the characters, but I really- I don't know, it was kind of weird. I couldn't decide whether I liked them or not, and then when I watched the movie I just made fun of their looks. Twilight is a masterpiece, it's a work of art. This is so much better than I remembered it. I've shared, but I mean, I'm strong on the surface.